It seems like we've gone from the Internet of Things to the Internet of Everything. Um, right. I've seen connected, um, connected belts. I've seen connected light bulbs, connected plugs. How do you decide what is actually smart to make smart versus right. stupid to make smart? Right. Well, this is nothing new, by the way. I mean, technology, people are always trying to sort of put technology in all kinds of places. And a lot of those places, you know, where it's not needed. Right. So, you know, technology really needs to solve real problems. Um, and that's that's really its potential, um, and then you know, but but there's always a temptation uh, of people in technology to put it in places where you know it's not really needed, um, and so you have to be you know you have to be an editor as a designer of where is it really going to make a difference in people's lives? Is it solving a real problem? Um, you know, are you creating really the, the the an experience that is sort of simple and that everyone can get into? The important thing about the Internet of Things is when it starts entering your home or when it starts living on your body, you can't have anything that's superfluous. It, it has to work for everyone. It has to work for the kids and the grandparents and everyone in the family, not just the techie that installed it. The experiences I've had as a reviewer of technology is with smart light bulbs. Okay, so the idea you can put the Internet in every right. light bulb, right. but then now all of a sudden you have to control your light bulbs with an app and you have to teach right. everybody in your home not to use this great invention called the switch. Right. Uh, the switch is one actually of my benchmarks. If, if what we do is any more difficult or complicated than the switch, um, then you know, we're probably not doing our job. Um, that said, one switch is great. You get into a room, you want to turn the lights on, you want to create an ambience, maybe there's a dimmer. But 10 switches becomes really annoying. So there is a problem at 10 switches or five switches. One of the other products that you are debuting here at CES this year is a new design for a TV yeah. with Samsung. Of all things you could have reinvented, why the television? It's like we tend to think of it just as a black blob that we ignore so we can just watch the right. picture. What's your idea? Well, you know, I'm, I've always been really interested in, in pushing new categories and creating new categories of products. You know, the Bluetooth speaker, the Jambox was one. You know, the up band is one with Jawbone. Um, and the TV is at this perfect place right now where it is kind of an inanimate object that doesn't really you know, participate in the Internet of Things and in the, in the, in the contextual you know, world around us. Um, but it's, that's, that could change very quickly. Um, you know, we, we, Samsung is by far the sort of the leader in you know, design and you know, design of, of displays, of TVs, and they've taken that lead a long time ago. And so for me, it was very exciting to start working on these most advanced technologies and start to think about how you're really going to live, you know, with them, um, how you integrate them together so they're simpler. There's no more, you know, we put all the, all the guts into the, into the base, into this very minimal square, you know, box that is also the speaker. Um, and that means there's no cables, there's none of that visual clutter. And you made it curved, um, which some people, uh, the technology, some people have sort of said, oh, is that just a fad, it's curved really good, but... What's really interesting is, um, you know, 50% of Samsung's TVs being sold right now are curved TVs. So actually, contrary to some other right. TV technologies that were a fad, um, this is something that people have found to be really immersive when they're in front of it. And that happened to me. I saw a prototype a year and a half ago. I was just like, ah, oh, curved. Is yeah. that going to do anything? And actually, you, if you take a piece, piece of flat paper and you curve it towards you, you immediately got to get that impression of uh, being more immersive. So are television something you're going to continue working on as a category? Absolutely. I think they're going to become more autonomous, more you know, smarter as they go. And you know, we're seeing you know, autonomous cars. We're starting to see things respond in our homes in ways that predict our behavior. And I believe that um, TVs are you know, a big part of our lives and they, we, we need to move them forward.